What's up guys, Triple C here. As you guys know, Rockstar announced that in June we will get the gun running DLC. Now there was a lot of contro controversy about this on YouTube. A lot of beef started and people really got agitated about it because certain YouTubers said it will be a military DLC. Others just said it will be a ping pong. And then uh, majority leaders of crews stepped in and said it will actually be a ping ping. But now Rockstar has definitely confirmed that it will just be a gun running DLC. So um, I've got some secret info on this. I'll just spill it right in the beginning. Um, it's going to be that you're going to have to drive across the map, pick up that, drive across the map, deliver that, drive across the map, pick up that, drive across the map, deliver that, drive across the map, pick up that, drive across the map, deliver that, drive across the map. Okay. No, wait. I want to get into the picks and look at all the all the cues we can take from all these picks, basically, what's what we can expect from this DLC. Now, one of the most interesting picks for me was this one right here, where you see this boisterous big truck with like a Mad Max posse escort surrounding it. And I think the truck looks a bit like, like a beer hat. And what would actually really spice up the missions while you have to drive across the map all the time is if you could get drunk with your crew in the back of that truck and maybe also drink green juice. That would be really cool. Now, of course, us being stunt racers and stunt race creators, we want to know, is there going to be any cars that we can use for stunt racing? And in this pick right here, I spotted this car behind that guy um, with, with the steering wheel like sticking out. It looks very straight on the side, so it should work, work very well for dummy proofing, and we would be able to play epic stunt races with it where you will have to shoot yourselves to survive, just like in the tiny races mode, which was a great success. Um, also, I think it should flip pretty well from the shape of it, and turtle slide should also be no problem as long as your character is wearing a helmet. Now, also another thing on this pick, which all the other YouTubers have missed, is that behind this car, you can very clearly see the cement bags there, the stack of cement bags. Now, anybody that's been messing with the creator for a long time, back when we had to switch glitch, this means that we will be able to switch glitch this vehicle in, like the green containers back then, and build wall rides out of this vehicle. In this pic right here, you can see a rap group hunting for deer, so they will definitely also add to the free mode activities with this DLC. In the next pic, you can see this armored uh, vehicle, which has got like a flagpole sticking out. Some people said it might be a rocket. I think it might be a flagpole that you can deploy flags, which show which crew you're from, basically. And in the background, very um, distinct there, you can see three helicopters, of course. But what again, what everybody else has missed, which only I have seen, is that there's this, um, um, this cock basically on top of that building which is showing the directions like northwest west east south and like with a, you could like derive cock cock hmm, it's uh, you can also say it's a chicken so maybe this vehicle will not be as strong after all it might be a pussy and um, but we'll wait and have to see if it really is effective against anti-air targets or if it will just be a sitting duck waiting to be exploded now on this next pick, what a lot of people think they're seeing is a trailer being pulled by a pickup truck with an anti-air tur turret. But what I'm pretty positive of here, what we finally got the jetpack in the game. There's no proof that that trailer is actually attached to the pickup. I think the two completely independent vehicles, and like from my perspective, it looks like the guy in the green camouflage suit is flying a jetpack. He's just landing it because maybe he dropped a penny or something. But finally, we will get the jetpack in GTA Online. Now in the next pick, we can see a new type of interior, which will probably be added to a high and luxury apartments so we can restyle them a bit. And finally in the last pick we can see a modified Rocket Vaultic with a two wheel base basically. But yeah that was it, that was my analysis of the new DLC coming up. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It remains to be seen how profitable these missions are actually going to be if they're going to yield as much as the biker missions for example. But yeah anyways for a complete analysis of all the new DLCs coming up stay tuned and subscribe to my channel as I will always give you in-depth info that all the other YouTubers have missed. I'm Peace.